In recent days, several U.S. politicians have expressed their grief over the death of Cuban dissident Osvaldo Pajá in a still mysterious car accident in Cuba. They were right, of course, in saying that Pajá was an extraordinary person, a Cuban Gandhi, a man who believed in nonviolent action against Cuba's dictatorship and who in 2002 collected 24,000 signatures inside Cuba to ask for a referendum on whether the island should allow fundamental freedoms. But if U.S. politicians such as presumptive Republican candidate Mitt Romney really want to honor Pajá's memory, they should follow his advice, at least his advice on what the U.S. government should do about Cuba. I had the honor of interviewing Pajá nearly a dozen times over the past two decades, and as I reread my notes this week following his death, there's a theme that stand out in all of his statements. Pajá consistently maintained that Washington's tough talk or sanctions against Cuba are counterproductive and play into the hands of the Cuban dictatorship. To find out exactly what Pajá said and what several U.S. politicians could learn from his advice, read my column on this website and don't miss our weekly Spanish language TV show, Oppenheimer Presenta, on CNN and Español every Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time.